anybody out there. Well, I hope you liked the little swamp intro. Thanks for showing up at another Vegematic show. Why you did, I can't imagine, but I am grateful. I'd like to start off by thanking a couple of new subscribers. We've got Glenn Woodford. Thank you very much, Glenn. And B.R. Christensen, who, if I'm not mistaken, may have formerly been subscribed in and is resubscribing. I'm not sure. But um, a lot of times YouTube seems to like to unsubscribe people to me. Uh, <laughs> and then they end up resubscribing. I, I don't know. Or maybe, that, maybe I said something that pissed them off. I don't know. But anyway, welcome to both of you. And I'm uh, glad you could come by. Well, what can we talk about? Well, the uh, enormous expansion of the corporate swamp that Mr... Trump is busy filling and digging holes and sending in heavy equipment to to dig out the this swamp so that he can fill it with much more vicious and dangerous swamp critters, uh, the slimiest sort, uh, like uh, Minuteman, uh, Minutian, the Minutian man, the miniature man, the, the Munchkin miniature. You know the guy, the the, the uh, Goldman Sachs guy, former Goldman Sachs CEO, uh, George Soros hedge fund manager CEO. Um, this guy, this guy it is the swamp. I mean, he's the the head honcho of the swamp. We got other swamp figures just flying in. You know, I mean, you've got you've got uh, healthcare opponents, uh, right wingers. Uh, galore, you've got uh, George W. Bush's former Labor Secretary under consideration. You've got, oh, Sheriff, Sheriff Clark, the beloved Sheriff Clark, Uncle Tom Clark, as he is affectionately known by friends and enemies alike, I am sure. Tom Leffert, in his way, you know, we're going to be privatizing your Social Security so that the the large banks can turn into casinos once more. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Your pensions are gonna be gone. But it's for, for rich people, they're gonna love it. It's they're gonna say it's boom time and Trump is the uh, savior of all humanity. This in spite of being a swamp creature. And I'm just wondering something about Trump. Is it traditional for American president-elects to go on victory tours, to have rallies, to rally his faithful supporters? Or is it somewhat reminiscent of the rallies Hitler had at Nuremberg? Now, already everybody that this guy is surrounding himself with is a dangerous neocon project for a new American century, uh, banks out of control, don't tax the rich type of people. Same people that were around G.W. Bush. So anybody thinking they were going to get absolutely anything different from this carnival barker, sideshow, Bob kind of guy, no, sideshow, Donald, Donald Tiny Hands, as uh, certain people like to call him. I like that. Uh, of course, they will be rounded up and, and deported, and I'm sure once Trump gets his uh, national security uh, in place uh, with the likes of uh, Sheriff Uncle Tom Clark. Uh, so you've got these right-wing ideologues back in power, that Goldman Sachs back in power, not that they were ever out of power or anything. 
you have <laughs> this big deal being made out of Trump saying, well, you keep, keep so many jobs here and I'll give you some money for it. You know, I bet you if you, you gave those workers that uh, money that you're so freely giving to the corporation, being so tough with them, they might be able to start some businesses to help themselves and do something a lot better than, than what they've been doing. Now, having been accused of suffering from stupidity most of my life, usually by people that probably failed a Rorschach text. <laughs> they, couldn't, they couldn't do it because they had no imagination and the ink blots didn't look like anything but ink blots to them. So, and they said, I don't know, it's just some twisted shit, you know. I've never seen such insanity. And why, why, why? Why this desperate need for militarism? And there's this horrible feeling that everybody has that the world is inexorably being drawn into some kind of military mass confrontation. It, it's, it's a tinder keg. And these right-wing populists read neo-Nazis popping up everywhere, even in America, uh, grabbing the reins of power by covert means. When politicians become so completely on another planet, removed from the citizens and corrupt, uh, then you're going to get a demagogue like Mr. Herr Drumpf uh, take the reins of power and push it as far as it goes. Now you can call me an alarmist. I'm not an alarmist, you guys. You're going to see very shortly. I believe that Mr. Drumpf is going to be far worse than anybody possibly imagines. No matter what happens, look who he's picked to be around him. You've got insanity. There's no hope without massive resistance before he gets his hands on everything. I mean, the resistance has to start yesterday to anything this man tries to do. Isn't it amazing how quickly the media goes about normalizing, normalizing fascism, like this is, this is just another president. No, it's, it's, a, it's a huge transformation of society on a bigger level than anybody possibly can imagine. And I'm sure I'll get enough people spamming me and saying, you, you're crazy, you're stupid. When they're already talking about creating registries and rounding up people. He hasn't even taken office yet. You don't think it's going to be bad? What do you think would be happening in Standing Rock right now with Herr Trump at the helm? I would say that there would be tanks rolling in about this time. Do you think this man, this sick, psychopathic idiot, morally bankrupt, spoiled little rich twat, is going to lead America anywhere but straight into the ditch. Then I feel sorry for you. If, you, if anybody that pins their hopes on this nutcase, I'm sorry, but you deserve what you're going to get. And it won't be pretty. Every hate-filled racist in the country is rejoicing. Goldman Sachs, they're dancing in their offices. You stupid fools. You idiots that thought that Donald 
Trump would do anything except wreck your America. Flush it straight down the fucking toilet because that's what you did with your country. And I despise Hillary Clinton every bit as much. The fact is, she did win the popular vote. However, perhaps if the Dems had not cheated Bernie so completely, can you imagine what it would be like now? Everybody's walking around depressed to, and, and worried but could you imagine the, the contrast had Bernie Sanders been the nominee and now the president-elect? And people would be making plans for uh, when they had national health insurance, where everybody would be covered, uh, where people would be making decent wages, where there would be actual tariffs on products made in sweatshops. You're not going to get any of that shit. You've just elected a hyper-capitalist Nazi and I will I will continue to call him a Nazi because that is what he is and I'm very sorry that if you have death threats for me I've had death threats from Trump people why expressing my opinion this is the type of scum this is the type of scum Sick bastards, just sick bastards, greedy, selfish, evil, stupid. And have you ever noticed all these right-wing idiots in the comment section? Their spelling is completely ridiculous. Their command of the English language is negligible. And yet they are smarter than everybody else because they know that Trump will make America great again. Stupidity like that you cannot reason with. You can't reason with somebody that's bound and determined to do a replay of the 1930s and 40s. Only on the losing side this time. And the thing that makes me absolutely want to puke is when I see these evangelical Christians get up there and support the hatred, doing everything completely opposite to what they, their head of their professed religion would say. They know nothing. They've created their own Frankenchrist. The one that, that says, yeah, show up at my door, I'll kick your ass out. Ask me for a glass of water, I'll waterboard you. Yeah, that's your Christian message. These scumbag evangelists that they are just ripping people off right and left. Gullible idiots that send them money, give them political power. And then they dare to call themselves Christians. They have no concept of what a Christian is. They have no idea because they're too stupid and they've listened to the perversion of anything remotely resembling Christianity into some kind of justification for selfishness, for injustice, for intolerance, for spitting on your enemies. You make me sick. You and all your ilk. You think you're going to be saved from the end times? No. You're bringing it about faster than ever, and you're turning this world into a hell faster than any atheist I've ever met. I don't know what kind of morality you claim to possess. But you are hypocrites and vipers. Wow, sometimes I just have to spout. I know most of you people that, that watch this channel are very nice people, and thank you for all your kind comments. I don't respond 
sometimes because I I do find that the less time I spend on the internet, uh, generally the the happier I am. Plus, I really don't like to check my channel's views. I have a, a neurosis about that because I figure if I do know how many people are watching it, it might influence me in some stupid way and shape things in a way that I don't want them to go. Whereas uh, this way, I do read partial comments in the G Plus feed on, on YouTube. I just, I, I realize when, you know, I mean the spam stuff you get, well, you're a stupid idiot and blah, 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 blah. I, I don't bother reading those at all. I just go, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Have fun, guys. Um, but there's so many nice people out there that have left me nice comments and I want to say that it means a lot to me and I want to thank everybody for for being a friend of the show and for just uh, just appreciating an old-fashioned YouTube channel where you're not gonna get spammed by ads and I'm not gonna ask you for money I don't know, I just wouldn't feel right doing that kind of thing. See, that's that's why I've always been poor. I just don't have it in me to, to say, hey, I my ranting is worth money. So, anyway, <laughs> that's my little rant for this week. And uh, thanks again to everybody. Stay in touch. Uh, your comments on G Plus mean the world to me. They really do. And uh, I feel a great sense of friendship with many people that I've followed over the years. Well, certainly over this last crazy year. Uh, I'd like to say a special hello to uh, Swami Amelia. Amelia or Amelia? Swami. <laughs> She's a beautiful lady that's that uh, has been part of my audience for a long time. And I... Uh, just wanted to say thanks. Take care, everybody. Thank God the the veterans are heading out to Standing Rock. And what's going to happen there? I've said all along that this could be a catalyst. What are the cops going to do? Start attacking the veterans? That's going to look really good, isn't it? Why don't you just take that pipeline and uh, all your investors and just shove it straight up your ass fuck the fuck the pipelines same in canada screw this shit it's time for clean energy and if we don't do it we're doomed so are we willing to sacrifice everything the entire world your children who you claim to love so much uh, for profit short-term profit yeah I know it's all a conspiracy theory just like Alex Jones and his support of Donald Trump just like the people who said they're voting for Donald Trump and I wouldn't I don't usually call out too many people but I will call out Michael Trim and this is like the man he said, oh, well, I have to be real and vote for Trump after he's pulled publicity stunts and he's trying to be another Alex Jones. There's a few of those idiots on YouTube that are really starting to piss me off. Mad Dog Mattis. Huh. How about you just feel good about having a secretary of defense with the name Mad Dog? Yeah, doesn't that just make you want to sleep well at night? <sighs> Exxon Mobil CEO might be uh, heading the State Department, so... Well, we're going to have fun breathing, aren't we? Isn't this going to be a wonderful, wonderful world? A neocon dream. So, are we gonna, what are we going to do? Over the next few years, are we going to be put into camps? The hatred that these Trump people have is very real. Uh, like I said, I've had death threats from them. 
for disagreeing politically or making fun of uh, of the clown, the great orange orangutan, Cheeto Jesus, yeah. the gingerbread man, the gingerbread boogeyman, orange horror from hell, swamp creature, swamp critters, they're all just fucking swamp critters. Take care, everybody. Uh, thanks again. Let's keep in touch. Let's uh, give us everybody a little bit of moral support as we make our way into the uh, darkness of Trump's future. Goodbye, cruel world. See you later.